Mount of Saint Fan. The fourth time 100 meter free relay for the ladies. On lane eight, you have the Italian team, Matteo De Biagiotti, Marina Cacciapuoti, Gaia Pesenti, and Viola Petrini. Lane one, you will meet the Serbians, Tanja Popovic, Jana Markovic, Sara Svorchan, and Nina Stanislavic. The Germans will swim on lane seven, Chiara Klein, Nina Sandin Ajazi, Lisa Marie Finger, and Selina Springer. Poland on lane two, Paulina Cierpilowska, Mariana Ridinska, Victoria Gusch, and Julia Kulik. Hungarians arriving hand by hand. Nicoletta Padar, Panna Ugrai, Dora Molnar, and Rieko Niradi. Russia with three Darias, all part of their previous relays in the mix. Daria Tatarinova, Daria Trofimova, Alexandra Kuryukina, and Daria Klepikova. Great Britain, Eva Ocaro, Harriet Rogers, Evelyn Davis, and Tamlin Fanson. And France, Marianne Bremolo, Mathilde De Pouveau, Julia Rossi Bene, and Lucy Vasquez. It's going to be exciting as the entry times here, I wouldn't say it means too much, as you can change between the two. Just like the Russians, we are the two fastest swimmer, Tatarinova and Klapikova, was not part of the show in the morning. So it's going to be an exciting final. So we are the first one. It's Britain, France and Hungary. But it can change in a minute. And you should also take care of the takeovers. Remember, Italy already lost two bronze medals here because of an early takeover. So to the first leg. Russia, Britain and France. France already had some risky takeover, but according to the system, it's still inside what the rules allow you. It stands at minus 002 and minus 003, but of course, it's going to be checked. Now it's Russia, Britain, and France. The Russians are way ahead, as expected, to be honest. Let's see. I think with, even if 
Klapikova had plenty of seams today. It's Russia, it's France, no, it's Hungary first. Panograi, despite her involvement in the medley, she pushed Hungary ahead to the second place. Let's see if we can take him. Exactly. The French has pretty good takeovers as Julia Rossi Bennett at 0 0 5. Sometimes takeovers can help you a great deal. Now it's the Russians miles away. They don't win anything. They can be the winner here. Another Russian relay. But it's a close call, even if Hungary and Great Britain are ahead. Now the Brits will be the second, Hungarian third. But it's going to be a very, very exciting finish. As the speed is going great, the homecoming leg. Russia is still ahead and the Hungarians are also pushing hard ahead on the Brits. It's Reka Niradi against Tamrin van Sel. And it's Niradi slightly ahead. But van Sel in the underwater is the turn. Russia is out of reach for sure. It's Klapikova. And it seems that Tamrin van Sel and even now Hungary is in danger because the French are coming strong. But it seems that it can be the touch or even more. No, the Hungarians can keep it for the bronze. The Brits are second, Hungary third, and France is the fourth. And we have a championship record here by the Russians, as you might expect. They had a full two seconds advantage ahead of Britain. And the Hungarians yeah, it could keep 7 hundredths of a second from the record. So, a bit surprisingly, from lane 6. Hungary finishes third ahead of France. So, it's the final rank and it's official. There is no need to check the takeovers. Oh, good. Russia, Great Britain, Hungary, France, Serbia, Germany, Italy, and Poland. Tatarinova, Trofimova, Kurlikina, and Klapikova. They did a brilliant job. Actually, their splits are telling. They have 55, 54, 55 and 54. All other teams at least, at least one, if not two, swimmers with 56 seconds. So it's the Russian speed, they're unmatchable. And they rightfully have the championship record. So I hope you enjoyed this penultimate day. We have loads of action.